They say that a real Mercedes starts with the E-Class, but the youngest in the family, Baby Benz, except for a lower price and lower maintenance costs, is almost in no way inferior to its older brothers. Manufacturers call their brainchild a hatchback, although the height and proportions of the car body are more like a minivan. Moreover, in terms of functionality and spaciousness, as well as the possibilities for transforming the cabin, the A-Class directly competes with these practical models. The second generation of the car is produced in three- and five-door versions. The Mercedes-Benz A-Class W169 was equipped with four-cylinder gasoline and diesel engines. In the range of gasoline, units with a volume of 1.5 liters, 95 horsepower, 1.7 liters, 116 horsepower, and 2.0 liters, the latter in the atmospheric version produced 136 horsepower, and in the turbo version, 193 HP. The same number of 2.0 liter turbo diesels, 82.109 and 140 horsepower. With all engines, except for the most powerful gasoline, 193 horsepower, and turbo diesel, 140 horsepower, for which a six-speed mechanics was originally provided, a five-speed gearbox is combined as standard but a stepless variator was offered as an option for each of the units. Mercedes-Benz A-Class outside looks quite monumental and solid. However, its interior is no longer as monumental as that of older models. Surely the manufacturers intentionally did not make the torpedo heavier to give it a friendlier look. But the quality of the plastic has become much better than that of the first-generation machines. There are no complaints about ergonomics, and in terms of practicality, the model is not inferior to minivans. For example, if you fold the rear seats, the trunk volume will be an impressive 1995 liters. As for equipment, here too the little Mercedes is trying to keep up with its older brothers. The used A-Class will be in one of three trim levels traditional for the brand, Classic, Elegance, and Avant-Garde. Moreover, already in the basic version of the Classic, the car is equipped very generously. So, it is guaranteed to have an electro-hydraulic power steering, ABS with brake force distribution along the axis, brake assist emergency braking system and ESP electronic stabilization, front power windows and heated side mirrors, an onboard computer and air conditioning. The avant-garde version additionally provides alloy wheels, fog lights, stainless steel door sills, and the interior is trimmed with faux leather and suede. In elegance, the interior was decorated with more expensive materials. And outwardly, this version was distinguished by a silver grille body-colored mirror housings and light alloy wheels of a special design. The reliability of Mercedes-Benz A-Class can be characterized by a sacramental phrase from a bearded joke about an old Odessa citizen, don't wait, the car won't break down. And this applies to both the machine as a whole and its individual systems and mechanisms. Even modest in terms of the number of cylinders and volume, engines installed on the A-Class have a durable timing chain and a timing drive, which serves as a certain guarantee of their reliability. Oil and gasoline engines must be replaced after 15,000 to 20,000 kilometers, and in diesel engines it is recommended twice as often. On gasoline, force after 100,000 kilometers of run, the rollers of the attachment drive belt wear out. Replacement, about 4,000 rubles. Diesels are usually not a problem. True, if you need to update the injection nozzles, their inaccurate dismantling can damage the blockhead. In this regard, nozzles are often changed along with the blockhead, 75,000 rubles at the official service. The manual and CVT are generally durable. The suspension is also surprisingly hassle-free. Even racks, from 1,600 rubles apiece, and bushings, 650 rubles, of the stabilizer nurse an average of 50,000 kilometers shock absorbers, from 8,200 rubles front and from 1,500 rubles rear, can last up to 100,000 kilometers. Electrical equipment works quite reliably even in difficult Russian conditions, however, there is one caveat. On the A-Class, the power steering pump is electric, and its negative terminal is located under the washer reservoir. When pouring liquid into it, it often spills and gets on the mass of the electric pump. As a result, the terminal corrodes and rots, after which the pump breaks. In official technical centers in such cases, they simply change the pump for 50,000 rubles. But on specialized ones, this unit is repaired for only 4,500 rubles. Engine. Unlike other models of the concern, on A and B class machines, it is located transversely, since they have front drive wheels. Engines do not have typical diseases, but
but on turbocharged versions, firms recommend letting the engine idle for a couple of minutes before turning off the ignition. This will significantly extend its life. Steering The steering on the second generation of the D-Class is with electric power steering, where the servo motor does not help the rack itself, but the steering shaft. The design provides not only excellent information content, but also fuel economy up to 500 G per 100 kilometers. Suspension In the front suspension, the most wear parts are brake pads, 2,850 rubles per set which serve 30,000 km, discs, 7,000 py6. Pair, with stand 2 to 3 pad changes. Body. The bottom of the A-Class is made in the form of a double panel. This design is called a sandwich. The battery, fuel tank, exhaust system and rear suspension elements are hidden in the double floor. 